Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some of the best new UX UI resources and tools for the month of September 2023. This month is full of announcement, new releases, and even some really cool AI design tools. So let's not waste time, let's get started. Let's begin today with Figma updates. And these are really, really useful. Figma is now finally on Google Meet. So now when you are inside Google Meet, you'll be able to launch FigJam and your Figma projects. So while you are on a video chat on Google Meet, you can then interact with your Figma designs there and there. You don't have to leave Google Meet at all. And since this is sort of a plugin for Google, you'll be able to integrate it into Google Docs as well as you can see behind me. It's right now sitting on a 2.7 rating on Google Workspace, but maybe it's just the people who did not like it that, that commented or reviewed here. So don't really go by the ratings, try it out. 180,000 plus people have installed this. So I, go sit. so I suggest go download it anyways. Now Figma is launching few updates every week these days. Two of the highlights were definitely these four. Select and copy from version history. So you can now go back in your versions and then copy and paste the older versions in your new versions, which I think is a cool trick. Now also have a quick action links. So basically it's a quick link copier inside Figma. For a lot of people who are trying to share a lot of stuff in Figma all the time, this can be a useful update. And there are some miscellaneous updates like ex better export settings, etc. Now designers hate Canva, but much like Adobe and Adobe Firefly, Canva is coming out with its own Firefly. In the next coming weeks, we will be seeing magic happen, essentially. So this website of Canva is dedicated to that. Cool thing about this is that they've given some cool Easter eggs at the bottom. So just from this, what I can make out is first, there will be some text-based AI. So you'll be able to type in certain text and ask Canva AI to actually convert that text into some 3D or some crazy typography. Then there's of course prompt-based image generators, much like Firefly. And there will be things like removing backgrounds and editing images using AI as well, which is clear from this. There will also be smart object replacer and remover. I think this will be really cool. You can add this to your calendar if you're excited for this. I am truly. Talking about AI, AI Portfolio Maker is here also now. Contra has brought this new tool called Portfolio and it is powered low-key by AI. Now, this does not give a lot of cool AI features, unfortunately, yet, but it is one where you can quickly make your profile on Contra and that converts into a complete portfolio website. You have various options to choose from when it comes to the design. So if you want something clean and minimal with a serif font, you can always view something like Paris, which is a minimal portfolio website. So what it does is it matches these website templates to the information that you've given Contra and it smartly adds all that information into these areas. I feel Contra has just used the AI tag in more users and interest, but in reality, this is not a big deal. However, if you're wanting a quick website, a quick portfolio website that you can host even through Contra, this can be a really cool option to choose from. Now, this has to be the coolest thing ever. If you like a website, say Apple's website, Apple's new iPhone 15 website, you want to copy that iPhone 15 website into Framer, into a proper Framer website and replicate it on your own, then Framer now has something called HTML to Framer. This is basically the best way to replicate your dream website on your own. And then you can add interactions, add cool stuff. This next one is a huge advancement in AI. DALI, remember DALI, the weird image generator using OpenAI? Well, DALI 3 is here and wow, I am impressed. This is one of those things I have to include. The first thing is that now there will be a huge difference between DALI 2 and DALI 3. As you can see, they've given a difference. DALI 3 is on the right with this cool NBA player jumping. On the left, there is the same prompt being used. However, the, right, the prompt on the right is much more detailed and well-crafted. The prompt on the left seems weird and artistic. Apart from that, their launch video is the cutest way you can use DALI. Here a father is asking DALI to showcase a cartoon character his daughter 
views or likes. This situation, the father quickly gets responses and based on those responses, he gets further into details and depths, creating stickers, banners, cartoons, weird poses and, and other such material. As you can see, it's much more conversational in nature as well and actually gives good answers. Apart from this, you can generate multiple layers now. So earlier you could only generate one single image. Now you can generate a background, a foreground, etc. So here as, they, as they've shown, the sidewalk bustling with pedestrians enjoying the nightlife. So you can see the background has been generated. Now since there is more detail you can add in the foreground, there's the grumpy vendor, a tall, sophisticated man. And as you can see, very, very well done and well made. All AI is now driving towards safety and security for designers, developers, and even artists. And now artists can opt out of this. If an artist does not want AI to be searching for their art or using their art in any way, they can opt their images out. That means AI will not no longer train using their designs and art. Most AI based design tools or graphic tools are coming up with this option, which is a huge thumbs up. What does it feel like to be a designer in top companies? I'm always fascinated by this and I will always go ahead and talk to people about this. Guru Prasad has written an article on UX Planet, which says five takeaways from Microsoft design internship. So if you're a designer who wants to be an intern who or who is going to be an intern at Microsoft or any of these top companies, I had to shout this out because this article is highly underappreciated and I think it's very, very well written and it's very well documented as well. So you'll get a nice journey map for yourself as well. By the way, if you're not following me on Medium, I mean, I'm writing articles here too. So check that out. So Microsoft recently had their big event all their cool stuff being done here. One big update that they're bringing is, remember Microsoft Designer? Now people who are testing LinkedIn's beta versions, etc., have taken this screenshot of how Designer is now coming to LinkedIn, yes. So now instead of just having these basic options like documents, photos, videos, you'll also have design. If you want to design cool stuff, and you want to put it on LinkedIn, you can just do directly on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn basically now has a design tool embedded inside it, which is really, really cool. I think a lot of social media needs this. Things like Instagram, etc. right now does not have a lot of dedicated support for graphic design, etc. on their platform. This is a good advancement. Now Figma is already powerful. Figure is a tool that makes it two, three, five times more powerful. This is how. So this is a design tool which embeds itself inside Figma and brings some really cool, much needed features to Figma. The first is Looker. Now Looker brings smart design inspiration to your Figma. Essentially, it allows you to search hundreds if not thousands of templates, kits, etc. and then copy it directly into Figma. So it's kind of a nice well settled library. And of course, there is something called autopilot. Without autopilot, nothing works these days, where you can actually select what you're looking for, kind of give it a hint or idea. And based on that, it will match you up with the best designs you can copy paste into Figma. Then it has something called Flash UI. Flash UI picks up the coolest designed apps, etc. And then it allows you to edit their designs inside Figma. It has about 200 plus apps, 3000 screens and 150 UI patterns. You can basically edit these designs directly into Figma. Kind of reminds me of HTML to Figma, but in this case, it's for apps. Identity. Now this is a coming soon kind of feature, which is a generate brand identity in one click. So basically whatever design you've made, it will quickly create a brand identity out of it just by the kind of stuff that you used in the design. I think this is a cool automated tool. Last but not the least here is construct for figure. Now, again, this is again, waitlist coming soon. Visualize concepts instantly. So this will be their AI based designer essentially. Much like Relume's AI designer, this gives you cool user journeys, etc., as well as some really cool, well-built, well-designed wireframes as well using a prompt 
which I think is absolutely brilliant, brings AI into Figma, more AI into Figma means better designs. It's a really cool website, they're hiring as well. So if you want a job, go ahead. Now, Modify, could be pronounced as Modify, who knows, is a cool AI designer for designers like us. Now this is a Figma and an AI tool married, and then they had a baby. This is what it'll come out. Modify brings the power of Figma collaboration into a very similar or familiar environment. Looks a lot like Spline if you ask me. And in this environment, it allows you to kind of edit together some cool designs which are all created using AI. As you can see on top, there'll be a prompt or a command. Based on that, you can you know, uh, type in stuff, you can type in stuff, based on that you'll get results, then you can copy, paste, etc. right here in real time. So this is essentially like Illustrator or any other design tool with a lot of focus on AI. The fact that you can collaborate, comment together, etc. It makes it a perfect team tool as well. If you're a brainstorming dude, if you want to brainstorm your designs, etc., this could also be a cool thing. You can quickly make changes using AI while you're brainstorming. Patterns.ai. Now this is this was a super hit on Product Hunt. Even though this is perfect for UI developers and front-end developers, they also have something called Patterns AI right here. If you type in something like a ticket booking checkout screen, okay, start with AI. Essentially what it does is it makes a complete design using various elements from different front-end teams, etc. It creates like a basic screen like this. You can even update it with new prompts. So each update will act as a new iteration essentially. If I type in add more colors and buttons, okay? And I say update. As you can see, it's added some new buttons and links, etc. And a little bit of color, of course. Okay, Microsoft has launched AI Copilot. And AI Copilot seems like something only Windows users can, you know, just enjoy a little bit. But for designers, this could be amazing. If you're a Windows user, you will be very happy today. You can even generate images, etc. in say paint or in documents. And that will be really cool using AI, of course is full of extensions. 365 design tips is something really cool which you can install on your browser and every day with a new tab you will get a new design tip which I think is really cool if you're a learner or if you're a everyday learner like me you can qu quickly get this and check out what's new or you can learn new theory through this. All right guys that was it for today's video. I sure enjoyed making it. If you liked it hit that like button man. It takes a second and it supports the channel a lot. I will see you every week just like this. So make sure you have subscribed. I'll see you next time. Take care. God bless.